Hey everyone, and welcome to the final episode of The Process Season 2. Today, I'm going to be talking to a good friend of mine, Phil Mack, who's a specialist in climbing injuries. Today, we're going to focus specifically on A2 pulley injuries. How you doing, Phil? Very well. What about yourself? Yeah, good, man. All right, let's do this. Let's do it. Okay. So, Phil, as you know, I have had my fair share of climbing injuries in the past. Yep. Uh, specifically, hand injuries, A2 pulley injury. For a lot of climbers out there who aren't aware of what an A2 pulley actually is, can you give us an insight? Yeah, sure. First thing to bear in mind is obviously as climbers, the greatest amount of load tends to go through your hands. Hands aren't initially designed for the kind of loads that we, we apply through climbing. You have what's called a flexor tendon which comes down your arm, through into your hand and out along your finger to the tip of your finger. You have a series of pulleys. There are basically nine pulleys in the finger, in each of the fingers, okay, that create between them a tunnel for the tendon to run through. In particular though, the A2 pulley, which is more or less where my finger is there, okay, gets three to four times a greater load on the finger when we're crimping right. and climbing. Yeah. Firstly, the A2 pulley is the most, the most common injury that we certainly see in our clinics and probably worldwide um, in terms of climbing injuries. The body has good blood supply to their muscles. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the fingers don't have a good supply, so their development is much, much slower. They're using the, the crimp, especially the closed crimp position, yeah. as opposed to an open crimp. And that, again, puts three to four times more load onto that uh, pulley than any other part of the, the finger. The ring finger is the most common finger to get injured, which is quite interesting when you think that the most of the load is applied through the middle finger. But the reason it's the ring finger is because it doesn't have a lot of support on the outside, so the pinky is really not of a lot of help. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we know what the A2 pulley is mm -hmm. and how we can get injured. Yeah. How can we avoid injury? I guess there's one word that describes that across the board again from beginner to, to uh, elite climbers and that is progressions. Making sure that you progress at the level that your fingers are going to cope with. For beginners, they've got to remember that their fingers will be the slowest to uh, generate strength. It takes one or two years to do that. At the other end of the spectrum, once you get to elite level, uh, you work on a project again and again and again and you might even be hanging on the wall in a particular position repeating that process yeah. and that's when you start to get a weakness occur and you can start to get, um, you can tear the pulley. So Robbie, we're going to talk about uh, taping. Yeah. Uh, in particular here, I'm going to demonstrate a, a protection of an A2 pulley. My philosophy is we really avoid taping uh, if we can, especially if you haven't got an injury primarily because you actually want to strengthen the, the fingers yeah. you know, over a period of time and if you're using tape you're going to stop that process which is an important part of your development and climbing. Okay, but there are occasions where perhaps you're pushing your boundaries a little bit further um, or you're getting a little bit of a, an ache in your, in your fingers and you just want to protect it or after you've had an injury you want to make sure that you're, you're not going to injure it any further. There are two types of ways to do this. One is called an H type yep. tape but the one I'm going to show you today is called a more crucifix protection. So first thing we do is we diagonally place the tape across where the A2 pulley is. Okay, if you bend your finger a little bit, so just to get a little bit of flex available there. And then just to reinforce that area, I put two circular pieces of tape on. It's important to, to obviously have a, a good support but not to cut off blood, su yeah. blood supply. So just make sure, once we've got this on, that you can still um, flex the fingers. Okay, so I understand that there's two different types of injuring your finger. Yeah, that's right. There is the explosive injury where uh -huh. you jump and you grab a hold and it's a sudden exertion of force onto the A2 pulley that injures it. And then there's the more gradual static um, load which the more repetitive nature of the, of the hang that injures it over time. Yeah Robbie that's absolutely right and quite often one can lead on to to the other so let's say you're working on a project and you've been hanging for a long time trying to work out the next move and you maybe had three or four goes at this and then on the final go you decide to make the dyno move already you've weakened the structure and made it more vulnerable and then of course you make the dynamic move and that could potentially injure the, the A2 pulley. Okay. One of the things you've always said to me and I've been relieved to hear it when I've injured myself is 
for me to get back on the wall as quickly as possible, but obviously to reduce the intensity. Even if it means, let's say you're climbing seven A's, B's and C's, you might have to go down to only climbing fives, okay? But the important thing is to keep climbing because that is part of your rehab. It's just finding the right level. But the important thing is to firstly identify what the injury is, exactly what, what you've done to your, to your finger. Uh, so seek out a, a professional that can actually give you that information. The bottom line is over the last uh, 10 or 12 years, I've only seen a few actual ruptures of the A2 pulleys, even those with the right kind of rehab can heal, you can get back to climbing, although it can take some time and you have to be patient. It can take at least six months or longer for these to repair. So as we both know, climbing is a very competitive sport and just like any other sport, when you're pushing yourself hard, you put yourself in the possibility of picking up little niggles. Yeah, that's right, Robbie. So hopefully from today, it's given you a little bit more insight as to what the A2 pulley does and what to do if you start to pick up a niggle and go out there and get help and that it's not the end of the world. You will get back to climbing. Yeah, okay. thanks man. All right, pleasure. Cheers. I hope you've enjoyed watching this episode of The Process Season 2. For more detailed information on the topics discussed in this episode, then follow the link in the description.